Bricks can be seen everywhere in Nepal. They're used to build homes, schools, shops, temples, and even some roads. During the spring of 2015, Nepal was rocked by numerous earthquakes, damaging more than half a million buildings, 7,000 schools, and 1,000 health facilities nationwide. Almost 3 million people lost their homes. While people struggled to get back to normal, the demand for bricks was expected to reach an all-time high. But the businesses that manufacture bricks were also heavily hit. 95% of brick kilns in the Kathmandu Valley needed repair. Brick manufacturing is known to be an energy-intensive process that is one of the major sources of air pollution in South Asia. During the past two years, the Climate and Clean Air Coalition has been working with governments and global experts to modernize the production of bricks and reduce emissions of black carbon, which is a harmful pollutant to our health and the global climate. The brick firing process involves the burning of coal, wood, and other biomass. It is responsible for 75% of sulfur dioxide emissions in the Kathmandu Valley. Air quality in the valley is at least five times worse than the World Health Organization guideline. With the disaster of the earthquake came an opportunity for improvements. Many experts recognize that rebuilding so many kilns at once with better technology could result in a drop in air pollution. Before kiln owners began to rebuild, scientists, energy experts, and engineers rallied together with the Federation of Nepal Brick Industries to design a new kiln for the Kathmandu Valley. Unlike the older valley kilns, many of which stacked bricks in straight lines and used natural convection to draw heat and smoke out of their chimneys, newer kiln technology stacks bricks in a zigzag pattern and uses a fan to circulate air evenly inside the kiln. These improvements make the kiln more energy efficient. The newer kilns need about 30% less coal and biomass to produce the same number of bricks as the old kilns. They're more structurally sound too. The tall chimneys are reinforced to withstand the shock of another earthquake. New kilns bake the bricks more efficiently by minimizing heat loss and will pollute less, resulting in better health for Kathmandu residents, especially during the winter months when air quality is at its worst. By using less coal, brick manufacturers will spend less money on raw materials. Their bricks should also receive a higher classification number, which can fetch a higher price. Those profits can help recover some of the money they lost due to earthquake damages and quickly pay back associated loans. Within a year after the earthquake, Eight new kilns have been rebuilt following the energy-efficient and earthquake-safe design. Even more kilns pledged to rebuild using the new design the following year. Involving the brick industry from the start ensured the design would be embraced by the same people who ultimately would be running the kilns. This is not a case of new technology and expertise being brought in from overseas, but rather Nepali entrepreneurs, scientists, and regional engineers working together to determine what will work best in Nepal while considering local human resources and fiscal constraints. Although there remains a lot to be done to make kilns even cleaner, the approach followed in Kathmandu sets a path for modernizing the brick industry throughout South Asia.